Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate um, how many moles of a product when you're given um, volumes and molarities of not just one but two reactants. Now when that happens, you know that's a limiting reactant problem. So you work this just like you would all the others that we've worked in the past. Label all your given information. Uh, they want us to find how many moles of BASO4 so underneath, underneath the BASO4, I'm going to write number sign and write moles because that's what they're asking me to find. Then I'm going to label the information on these other ones. Uh, this one said that there was 20.0 milliliters of 0.600 molarity BACO2. So I'm going to write 20.0 ml underneath this along with 0 0.600. And instead of writing a big M, remember, I write moles over one liter. That way I can use it as a conversion factor. Look at the uh, MGSO4. Uh, they tell me that they were going to give me 30.0 milliliters of it along with 0 0.500. But remember, I write moles over one liter. Okay, So I can use it as a conversion factor. So you're working two problems. You're going from this information to this, then this information to this, and of these, from here to here, and from uh, here to here, whichever one is the smallest is the one that you'll pick. Now remember, on these, always start with the volume. That's the easiest way to do it. I'm going to start with BACO2. Uh, that'll be 20.0 milliliters. I want to put that over one, convert that to liters. I know that there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. After that, I'm going to use this. In one liter, there is 0 0.600 moles of BACL2. Okay, so I've got moles of that. Now, if you look at the uh, balanced equation, uh, it is balanced. I've already checked. Notice that 1BA, 1BA, 2CLs, 2CLs, 1MG, 1MG, 1SO4, 1OSO4. Okay, it's balanced. Now, here, I want to use this. I want to say that there's one mole in the balanced equation because that's the first time you're written moles. Here comes the second, third, so the ratio. I want to write down that there's one mole of BACL2. Then up on top, I'm going to write one mole of BASO4. So you're done with that one. Okay, punch that into, punch that into the calculator. Uh, that's going to be 20. Uh, times 0.600 times 1. Okay, so you're done with that. Enter that's 12 divided by 1,000. Now that gives me 0 0.012. Now check, check sig figs. Uh, 3 and 3. So 3 sig figs. Oh, that's only 2. So that needs to be 0 0.0120. Okay, so I have to have 3 sig figs. But remember, that's going to be that will be moles of BASO4. So this is one of our answers. Let's get the second choice now. Okay. Set this one up. It'll be almost similar to this one. It'll be 30.0 milliliters. Put that over one. Convert that milliliters into liters. There's a thousand milliliters in one liter. Okay. Look at its conversion factor of molarity. Uh, in one liter, there is 0 0.500 watt MgSO4. Okay. Now, from here, first time you've uh, whoops, first time you've written moles, first time you've written moles of MgSO4. Here comes the second, and third step of all the ratios. There's one mole of MgSO4 from the balanced equation, and here there's one mole of BASO4 equals, punch that into the handy dandy cheetah later, that's 30 times 0 0.5, that's 15 divided by 1000, and I get 0 0.015. That's only two sig figs, I need three, so that's going to be 0 0.0150 moles of BA. SO4, so I now have both numbers, and you remember from limiting reactant problems, when you do this, you pick the smaller one, the smallest one is the 0 0.0120, so this one's too big, 
So that's not our limiting. Our limiting reactant, if they ask us, would be the one that gave us this answer. The limiting reactant was the Ba Cl2. But my answer is 0 0.0120 moles of BaSO4. That's how many moles of BaSO4 I could produce from this reaction given the following quantities of these reactants. Alright guys, I hope this helps. Just watch it over and over and over and uh, watch it again and again because I know I went fast but I want to make sure I finished it in time. Alright guys, hope it helped.